first off, I want to tell you that nobody gets killed and everybody lives happily ever after. But this is a story of the coyotes chasing the deer uh, here on our property. In just a second, you'll see mama deer going after a coyote. Uh, she's pretty tough and she'll take them on if there's only one or two probably. Beyond that, I think she would probably lead them away on a chase and take them away from her fawns. She came through, checked out uh, that same area and found that uh, it's clear. And here goes the coyote out the back gate about eight seconds later. Well, also at that same moment, here goes one of the fawns. Uh, the two fawns had split up. One of them leaves out the back gate and heads towards the creek. Unfortunately, it was a terrible idea uh, because the fawn and the coyote then met up in the creek. And here's what happens next is wham into a fence. There's an open gate right there. The fawn misses it. I'll play it in slow motion here for you. Really pounds the fence hard heads into a corner of brush that it just can't get through. And unfortunately, it allows the coyote to catch up to it as it turns back around and tries to escape. The coyote right at this second, right there, latches on and opens up the fawn's right thigh. The coyote gets slammed into the gate and probably has to let go at that point, And the fawn takes off running. They both head about 150 yards down creek and then jump the fence into our neighbor's yard and here they come showing it in slow motion they're moving fast enough through these cameras that a lot of it is just missed if we don't slow it down we could see from another camera that the mother deer had been tuned into this whole thing since the instant that the fawn hit the fence back there uh, and got bitten by the coyote so mama deer comes to the rescue here and again in slow motion she takes a shortcut across right there because she knows where they're headed. Remember, it's completely dark out here and we're seeing this under infrared night vision. They can't see all this. It's dark. So here comes the coyote. That was the fawn that just went through. There's the coyote and there's mama deer right on it. Fortunately, the fawn had about a three second lead right there and in the darkness, it was able to lose the coyote. Okay, there goes mama deer no, not at top speed, but chasing the coyote to keep it going in the other direction. I think mama deer probably knew where the fawn had gone. There it goes racing across the backyard. It then makes another big loop. And here we get our first shot at, there's that wound on the fawn's thigh. Well, about 20 minutes later here, this next video, yeah, this is, Mama deer walks both fawns out. She's got twins uh, this year. She walks them both out again towards the creek, but it turns out that she stashes them safely. And yet here about an hour later, the coyote comes back through sniffing the ground, see if, if the coyote can pick up the trail again. It does not pick up the trail. Uh, so they have escaped at that point. Coyote comes back in, searches all over, uh, but unsuccessfully. So as it turns out, that chase is finished. And here's the next morning, about six hours later, there's the fawn with a ripped up thigh. Uh, here's another two days later. And it was healing okay. Our vet friend Susan tells us that if they can get to it to lick it, then they're going to take great care of it. And that seems to be true. Uh, finally here, uh, the last segment is taken about two hours ago uh, with so it's about nine days after the injury but I just got this last little shot that's the uninjured fawn and then here comes the injured one and everything's looking good and once again it appears that mama deer saved the day